is this lively enough for you? Is this a, is this a lively enough face? Yeah, okay. close enough. All right, so here we go. Democrats will burn the Constitution to disarm you. That's right. Uh, we're going to talk about that, but not initially. We're going to talk about it later. Initially, we're going to talk about Durcoat and Brownells and Crossbreed and, and holsters and being armed and dangerous and so forth. But before that, before that, did you guys, did either one of you uh, get a chance to check out the, the miniseries Pistol? on hulu this weekend no zach did you what no? i did not oh, okay. know what is that you're zach you're a Maisie williams fan right yeah she's all right yeah from the game of the thrones yeah real quick have you noticed that not a single game of thrones actor has gotten out of game of thrones and done something really really good yeah they have they name just, one yeah. besides this the macy williams uh, the, the the pistol thing well freaking uh Daenerys Targaryen, or Dan- what, what, what? What was she in? That was really good. She's been in a hundred things. She was in Solo. She was in freaking the Terminator yeah. movie. Terminator movie. She's terrible. In, well, it's terrible, but she was in. It's not her fault. That's what I'm saying. Is they haven't done anything really good since. That, and the like, guy so- who played um, the the dead the dead uh, Rob Stark, the guy he he's been in a bunch of. He's a Brit. Yeah. So he's been in a bunch of British movies and tv yeah. he was in uh, the last duel which bombed and was bad he mm. was in the eternals which was one of the worst movies ever seen in my entire life yeah uh freaking sophie turner was in two of the worst x-men movies they've ever made uh mm. samuel tarley was in that moonfall movie that just bombed and everyone was the moonfall was the- that's a, there's a movie called moonfall yeah it's called yeah, exactly my point exactly you literally didn't know it existed <laughs> that's funny None yeah, of the but maybe if I was a, a, a weird European, I, I yeah. would like these things. No, it, it came out in America. It got like it made like two million dollars on a hundred twenty-five million dollar budget. It's one. It's terrible. Like it's all terrible. the Game of Thrones. I feel it in the next five years. There's going to be something referred to as the Game of Thrones curse. Oh, where remember, all of the actors. Okay, so speaking ahead. of the Game of Thrones actors, you know, remember the the kid that uh, the, the the brother sister team that helped. Uh, brand the broken get up north yeah but, well remember the brother of the brother sister team vaguely i remember that he existed what well, well he got uh, he got sucked down into the frozen lake by the by the white walker zombies yeah yeah he's in that movie in the pistols movie yeah he's in the he's in the pistol show oh and, and also macy williams real quick just i'll let you talk about it uh mm-hmm. as much as i like her she was in the new mutants which was also an exceedingly mediocre X Men spinoff. Mm. So continue with the pistols. Yeah. Well, actually, I watched. See, I watched episode one of uh, of the of pistol. Oh, and, I thought it was a movie. No, it's 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 a mini series. It's a six part mini series. Oh. Uh, anyway, I, I watched episode one, and then. I was wa- I was reading like stories about it, or you know, I like articles online about it, and it said, "Oh, it includes Maisie Williams," and I was like, "What? What? Hang on a second. Hmm. Which character is she?" I had to go back and watch because she's an adult now. She's not like a little, like, yeah, Stark brat. She know? was she was so, uh, John Linden. Yeah, she she was a uh, uh, yeah. So what? John Lydon? No, she wasn't John Lydon. <laughs> she wasn't Johnny Rotten, you retard. Um, but uh, the so the funny thing oh, is... So is it is it good series? Yeah, it's good. It's good. It, it's good for somebody like me because I grew up with that music. Uh, if, and if you didn't grow up with that music, it probably is not going to mean as much to you. I mean, it might. Oh, uh, you know, because... What I you know why I, I was going it was kind of like reliving my my teenage years and and I didn't realize until I watched the movie that Chrissy Hine from the Pretenders was actually involved in the Sex Pistols story that she was oh, there really? and, yeah she was there and she was like best friends with the band oh I didn't know I, that. I, I had no idea and 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 they talk about they do little other things like she's she's talking to Mick Jones who was with the the Clash. You know, they mentioned Mick Jones and they mentioned David Bowie and and and, and it's so this it's all meshed together. Anyway, well, I'm a I'm a Sex Pistols fan and I've got the Never Mind the Bollocks album uh, on my phone. And when your mom kidnaps me to a store like this, like 
Saturday, she kidnapped me to uh, Walmart, but she took me out to, she bought me dinner first. So it was okay. That's but right. I, I put my head, my, cause when I go into Walmart, I have to put my earbuds in and, and just play music. And, and it's like, I'm, I'm in a, in my own music yeah. video, uh, with, with crazy weird people all around me. So I shared that just for fun, just for fun. I shared, I said, yeah, my wife kidnapped me to, you know, Walmart, but it's okay. Cause I've got my music to keep me sane. And I put a picture of the anarchy in the UK screenshot, you know, and I hashtagged it sex pistols, Johnny rotten anarchy in the UK. Well, then I discovered that the, uh, the, the uh, censor Nazis on Instagram, which is Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, they're the same company. The censor Nazis censor hashtag sex pistols as violating their community standards. What? And so I, I, I took a screenshot of that and I, and I shared it. And I was like, apparently the censor Nazis, um, don't understand the uh, uh, irony. The technocrat censors have lost their sense of irony. Do you do you boys understand why, why would the that, irony of that? Why would hash? Yeah, I do because they're the OG rebels. Well, why, because why, why would hashtag sex pistols trigger the? I don't has been sense. limited because the community's reported content is is violating our community standards. Uh, that's exactly what the British government did. They censored sex, the Sex Pistols when they were. Didn't they go on the, wasn't that the whole radio thing? Oh, Pirate, Pirate radio? radio? Or was that a they, different one? Well, no, Pirate Radio was, it was, that was a real thing. Yeah, but wasn't uh, there a band that, that made it because of Pirate Radio? I, I don't like know. The, I don't know. I'll have to look that up. But um, yeah, when they were charting, see, they, when, when they were, they were, uh, on the charts and they were they were going to number one and the uh the radio stations refused to play them and they refused to acknowledge them and it when they printed the uh the top 20 or top 40 or whatever they would there would be like where they were supposed to be would be a blank space oh geez so yeah the the technocrat censors on instagram apparently don't get irony <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> maybe maybe that is purposeful irony they're not that smart that would be pretty funny uh they're not like some, you, some programmer wrote an algorithm he's like okay sex pistols censor this make this sure you censor that awesome uh make sure you censor that oh my lord oh my lord you want anarchy because that's how you get anarchy okay that's pretty funny yeah. Apparently, the pi the pirate radio that we know started mm. with the Rolling Stones. Oh, well, see, the pirate radio thing. Uh, you, you know, the we've talked about that little. Uh, what is it? The 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 principality of of something land. That's the, it's the oil. It's the the platform that sits out in the uh, in the yeah the straits. I can't remember what it was? Yeah, <laughs> they did that. They did a pirate radio thing from there. Principality of Sealand? Uh, yes, Principality of Sealand. The Principality of Sealand uh, is a real thing. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we have a friend who is a knight of the Principality of Sealand. <laughs> uh, and this you can buy before, it. Uh, this is back before you could buy the knight ship. Yeah, he, he got his before you could buy one. Yeah. He got his as an honorary. He was an honorary knight of Sealand. A cool story. Uh, but yeah, Sealand uh, is a real thing. The Principality of Sealand is a real thing, and uh, uh, you can, you can look. It's the world's smallest country. So I yeah. suppose if you have if, like you are a knight of the Principality of Sealand, mm -hmm. and you got it before people could buy it, does it still mean something more, or is it like let me just throw this away now? Uh, oh, well, I would keep it. You know. Uh, oh, for sure. But I mean, you the, you get the point. Yeah. Like, do you even tell people? <laughs> like, I oh, would. Oh, yeah. I was like, heck yeah, man. And it's small. I mean, it, the, the principality of Sealand is is tiny. It's small. 
Oh, it, it's it's barely big enough for like a house. But did we play but, the opening video yet? No, we should. I was do that. just about to point that out. All right, guys, and opening video. Okay. Welcome to Student of the Gun Radio, proudly brought to you from the SDS Import Studio. If you want quality that's affordable, visit sdsimports.com. We don't just talk guns and gear. We also discuss current events and politics, because guns are politics. Now sit back and listen louder to your co-host, CEO of Full 30, Jared Markle, and your beloved host, the pimp hand of America, Professor Paul Markle. Oh, yes, indeed. That's a, that's a uh, that's a fun read. If you want to read about the history of Sealand, uh, you can do that. You can do that. It's actually kind of cool. Yeah. The guy the the uh, the prince of Sealand recently died. He was 91 years old. But uh, rest in peace, Patty Roy Bates, prince of Sealand. <laughs> but I guess he passes the crown down to his kids, you know, yeah. But anyway, let's let's go on. Let's talk about what should we talk about? Well, if you are, man, I got to clear my throat again. We're going to talk about Duracoat Firearm Finishes, the finished firearm of the week. All right. So here's the dealio. Here's the dealio. Uh, I, I told you guys I was going to do this. Uh, Duracoat has this thing. Uh, there is a, a product. That's actually a battery of products. Uh, and it is called Mission Specific. The Mission Specific Duracoat uh, is a camouflage that you can remove. And you're like, why would I want to do that? Well, they, they came up with this basically because of what's going on in GWAT. And uh, with the uh, the various uh, teams and operational units going from climate to climate, you know, they're in the jungles of the Philippines or they're in the desert of Iraq or they're in the, the snowy tundra of wherever. So they wanted a ability. They wanted a good, solid finish, but they wanted to be able to remove it if need be. Because uh, you say, well, just keep painting over it. <laughs> you, know, you keep painting over it. Eventually, you can. <laughs> you have like a quarter inch of paint uh, onto your on your gun. You know you don't want that. So, oh, uh, I, I showed you guys last well last winter. I don't know. It was like November or December. The PSL. Here it is. The pumpkin spice latte. It was white. Very, oh, you know what you should do for fall. You should do pumpkin spice latte patterns. That what is a pumpkin oh, spice on. latte pattern? I, I don't know. Something with orange and brown with foam and some spicy brown with foam. <laughs> so looks pretty yeah. good. What I used is I used the woodland green. I used flat dark earth and then I used black for for shadowy highlights for like shadows. So I, I did take the uh, uh now, this is a big project. That's There's a lot of real estate on that sucker. Uh, but I, I did the remover uh, and, a, you know, a, a 3M scratch pad. And I just, you just, what you do is you get the remover and you spray it all over it. And you take a 3M scratch pad and you, you rub it off. And then you do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again until it's off. And then you let it dry. And then you apply the new color. So now it is no longer a white snowy gun. Now it is a green yeah, you know, kind of green with the with a little bit of little bit of brown and so on and so forth in it. And uh, the nice thing about you know what I really like because uh, I, I'm that kind of guy uh, right now is the mission specific. It, it doesn't have to look perfect. You know what I mean? Didn't have to look like showroom perfect. Yeah, because uh, it's because you're going to change it. So there you go. I did it with that helmet and I did it with that. So if you'd like to do that. You can go to DuracoatFirearmFinishes.com. You can get the mission-specific camo. And I can tell you this, that uh, the cans, there's plenty of, of coating of Duracoat in these cans to do multiple projects. Uh, and the nice thing about the, uh, if, if you're using the mission-specific, once you crack it open and start using it, you don't have to worry about it getting hard because that's what they didn't put the hardener in it on purpose. 
so that you can remove it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the whole point. Uh, they have brown, they have tan, they have black, they have blue, they have green, they have white. And they have actually one, two, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They have twelve different colors from which to choose uh, in the mission specific uh, camouflage coating. So if you're a person who is going to change the coating based upon the season or the climate, uh, well, there you go. There you go. Um, and you can check out our friends. Uh, you can click on the link at studentofthegun.com slash Duracoat, and it'll take you straight to Duracoat University. And when you go there, you can learn how to be a pro. You can learn how to be a pro. And if you want a PSL 54, well, yeah, you should get back in time and buy one, uh, go back in time and buy one when they first were released, when they were only seventeen ninety nine and they were available. You know what they're doing now, Jared? What's that? Uh, I, I see some ads where they're selling them and it seems like it's a really good price. You're like, wow, that's a really good price. And then you realize it doesn't come with the optic. Uh, yeah. You're like, oh, that's why it's such a good price because it doesn't come with the optic. So they, what they do is they, they take that off there. And, and uh, if you can find one, if you can find a PSL 54, good luck. Um, they're hard to find now. And, and can I can I be a, a spoiler alert guy here, Jared? No. All right. I'm going to do it anyway. Spoiler alert. Uh, if, if you are in the mindset of like, well, I'll get one of those someday. Eventually, maybe if <laughs> someday's not coming, bro. <laughs> uh, the guns and ammunition, they're not going to become more prevalent and less expensive anytime in the near future. <laughs> so <laughs> if you absolutely have to have something and you find it and you're, you're like, well, I want one of those, but I'm going to wait until they're until the price goes down. <laughs> you can do that. I mean, you're an American. You can do whatever you want, uh, but I don't want to hear you crying when you're like, oh, man, they're all sold out. Really? That's cray cray. Oh, so there you go. Duracoat, they're our friends. They're good people. You should support them. Mm. Sierra. Delta Sierra, Sierra Delta Sierra. That's the SDS. And if you go right now to uh, SOTGGiveaway.com, that is SOTGGiveaway.com, you will see the June giveaway. And the June giveaway is a Takarov Marine, not um, the uh, Jarhead Marine, but like water type marine what they did is they gave it a stain they put stainless steel instead of blue steel uh and the parts that's are uh, it's a semi-automatic magazine fed bullpup shotgun and uh, rather than blue steel it is stainless steel uh or i don't know if it's stainless or it's chromed or nickeled but uh, either way it looks really cool and it is the giveaway of the month and all you have to do is click here there's a little button that says click here if you don't know how to click the button that says click here then you're not eligible but if you click here put in your information and you will be eligible to win that gun and you have 23 days 14 hours 21 minutes and 32 33 31 30 29 seconds so there you go <laughs> to get in on that so do it so do it yes and uh, i hope you guys were able to get over to the uh the booth over there at the NRA uh, convention. Hmm. I talked to our bros at High Point, and uh, they said they had a really good show. They were glad to see uh, many of you, not all of you, because not all of you were there, but many of you were there. And, and, and they're like everybody else. They're in a situation now. They're like, we were just starting to get caught up. And then bam. And then bam. The Satanist Democrats decided they were going to pull their their freaking crap on us again. So I don't know what to tell you, uh, but here's what I think you should do. If you're a new listener, a recent listener, uh, you should close that hole under your nose, open up both of your ears and listen louder. 
Attention new listeners. We produced a complimentary online training course called Seven Training Tips That Could Save Your Life. Get instant access by joining the Student Lounge for free at studentofthegun.com. Do you watch Student of the Gun TV, read the blog, and follow us on Facebook? If you answered no to any of these questions, you are wrong, but you can easily fix yourself. Go to studentofthegun.com to find everything SOTG. Oh, boys, did you boys see the note that I put in the, the slickety slack com? I uh, have possibly which one specifically? Yet, so. yesterday I lit a Romeo and Juliet and R and J reserve anniversary cigar. Oh, nice. It was a Churchill size. So it was a good hour and a half cigar. And I started banging away on the keyboard and I have come to the point where I am ready to proofread and put the final edits or the, the pre-proof edits into the new book, the new handgun book. Nice. Yes. That's exciting. Yes. So, and this is when you, you freaks out there in the audience are like, what? I haven't even caught up to the current stuff yet. Well, get caught up freaks. Uh, the most recent release was the uh, instructor manual. So no. make sure you it wasn't. No, the most recent release was a precision rifle range book. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I've actually written. Good uh, Lord. Yeah. So but the, the student of the gun instructor development manual is available. That was uh, that dropped in March. And then the precision rifle range book dropped in May. So uh, both of those are available right now. So you're set to do a book every other month. <laughs> <laughs> ah, content machine no don't know how to keep up with oh uh, well it, it, the, the truth of the matter is and i'm gonna go ahead and hit you guys since you're listening to the show and you're our friends and and I, I like to think that we're all friends here uh is that what we're going to do is uh i am going to release a book we are going to release a book that coincides with every topic that we teach precision rifle handguns fighting rifle or combat rifle or whatever you want to call it, um, self-loading rifle and, and shotgun. We're going to do a shot. I can't, I'm actually really looking forward to the shotgun book uh, because it's something that I've enjoyed for a long, long time. And I have a, a pretty fair amount of experience uh, with, with a fighting shotgun. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. And the truth of the matter is, as long as I've been alive and it's not getting any better, the, the fighting shotgun is one of the most misunderstood tools in the inventory. I don't know if that's ever going to change. Uh, I, I really don't. Is I mean, you talk to people like you talk to some, some geek on the street uh, or, or some, you know, dude that you run into and they're like oh well, I'm, i just get a shotgun because because you don't need to practice or train with a shotgun you can just just point it down the hallway and fire and, and the what and the what well, the bad guy vaporizes it's it's you know <laughs> jared i have the perfect image all right you know that that the, the amazon show the boys yeah yeah, right. you know the one mutant lady that can that can that yeah that like it can focus and they go, Poof, yeah, and they just they red mist. That's pretty funny. That is what people think happens when you point. You just lean out, point a shotgun down the hallway, and press the trigger. That's what they. I think that's what they imagine happens. Like the bad guy just, Poof, just Poof, red mist. Uh, you don't even you don't need to practice or train with a shotgun. You just point it in the general direction, and the and the bad guy pfft, red mist. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Speaking of which, uh, I watched season one or episode one of season three last night, and oh my lord! Make sure the kids are in a different house. Okay. <laughs> if you have kids and you want to watch that show, make sure your children are in a different home. Okay. That they're, they're I'll they're, send yeah. Ruth to Maga's house. Yeah, yeah. It's just holy it should be if it was a movie, it would be an NC seventeen movie. Really? 
Oh, yeah. Wow. But the first five minutes, and I know why they do it. They're just like, they're like slap you across the face. You're like, Bleh. the directors, they're like, watch this. Whammo! Right across your face because you're sitting there in your, in your chair and you're like, what did I just see? <laughs> and then you spend the rest of the episode trying to figure out what that was. You're like, oh, my Lord. It, so uh, if you're enjoying the boys, once you once you finish up with uh, oh, that season, cool. uh, you should look into Invincible. 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 It's on. It's also on Amazon. Mm. So. All right. Let's move over to Brownells bullet points. But but that new boom. All right, bing, bang, boom, bing, bang, boom. Brownells Bullet Points brought to you by our good friends at brownells.com. And if you, like me, texted BRN to 556223, then this last weekend you would have gotten a notification on your phone that says, hey, we have extended the Memorial Day sale, and these are the deals that you can get. Your I don't one. know how they're even able to still have deals. I know you're, you're like how if you're a manufacturer or, or retailer or wholesaler, how in the world do you still that's that's it's gotta be it's gotta be some fun round table meetings. You know? You're like, okay, we still have to give people discounts. What do you mean? <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> we told those idiots last year to buy it. Now, now it's, it's it's crazy expensive and hard to find, and they all want they all want discounts. Uh, oh, you know what? They this is the economy we're living in, Jared. I noticed something this weekend. So the price of coffee is through the roof. You cannot get a. First of all, this is something. That's not new. It's been going on for a long time. When I was a kid, when your mom went to the store, she bought a pound of coffee. The bag was 16 ounces. It was a pound of coffee. Yeah, right. 12 ounces. So what happened, though, is the price of coffee went up, but people still expected. They expected to pay the same amount. So what the manufacturer started doing is they reduced the bag size to 12 ounces, but charged the same as they were previously charging. Well, now they can't even get away with that. So what they've done, what they're starting to do is they're dropping the bag size down to seven ounces. What? They're dropping the bag size down to seven ounces and pricing it lower so people aren't as pissed off. Right? Yeah. So that that's the new thing. Man, that's crazy. It's it's like it's like the Whopper. It's like the Whopper or the Big Mac or the cheeseburger or whatever. You're like, no, it's still 99 cents. Let me tell you what, hippie. That little tiny 99 cent half ounce beef patty, whatever. Uh, it used to be 99 cents and it was actually large. And, and, and it, one cheeseburger was enough for an adult. That's the world in which we're living now. Thank you, Joe Biden, Democrats, scumbag, communists. Oh, uh, yeah, I noticed that this weekend. So Brownells, uh, what should you buy? And this is basically my uh, my advice to you guys. What should you have purchased, get secure before the Democrats and the normies back into panic mode? Because they're setting the table to do it. The uh, scumbag Democrats are setting the table to send the normies back into panic buying mode. Well, if you don't, then here's the weird thing. If you're listening to me and you don't already have your personal defense firearms, not really sure what you've been waiting for. But let's just say, let's just say you're new to the game and welcome. Congratulations and hi, how are you doing? Uh, I'm Paul Markle and you're shocked to hear everything that comes out of my mouth. So there are some inexpensive guns out there. The the SDS Gen 3, the, the uh, PX9 Gen 3, is a crazy good value. It, it's a crazy good value. Uh, comes with, with two magazines, all kinds of features. Uh, it, you know, if you're a brand new person, you probably don't need a threaded barrel because you probably don't have a can, and it's going to be 12 months before you can get one anyway. Speaking of which, 
Remember when the, the AFT lied to us about 10 years ago and said that, oh, if you do electronic form submission, we can turn the approvals around in 30 days. And so what did they do? So silencer it's shop 10 years yeah, almost has been nine. No way, man. So silencer shop said, OK, we'll, we'll play your little game. We'll create a system for electronic for digital form submission. And they're like, yeah, if you can, if you guys can come up with digital form submission so we don't have to go through paperwork, we can turn approvals around 30 days. Liar. Liars. So they've had the electronic digital form submission, form four submission, form two, form one, all that. They've had it for years, years and years and years since we were in Biloxi. They've had it. And guess what? It's still 11 to 12 months to get your approval. You know why? Because they don't care. Because the fact is the AFT has you by the short hairs and they don't want to turn it around. They have no desire to turn it around. And you're a slave and you'll do what we say and you'll like it or not. You have no choice. So there's that. But, uh, yeah, if you don't have a, a personal defense handgun, if you say, well, I priced the SDS and I can't really afford that. Uh, I can't really afford the PX9. I'm like, okay, then you're going you're gonna to be high point shopping. <laughs> but uh, there are things between high point and, and, uh, the, uh, and the S SDS, the PX9. Speaking of which, there is a thing called the, the SCCY, the Sky Pistol. Uh, a miracle happened. Did you guys look up in the sky on uh, on Friday? Did oh, you see, a, ra see a rainbow? Oh, did no. you see a rainbow in the sky? I thought you because a miracle happened. I thought you were talking about that meteor shower. No, 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 no. The miracle was your mom came to me and said, I want you to take me to the range. I want to go shooting. I said, Excuse uh, me, what? Oh, I said, what? She said, I've already arranged it with Jason. I already arranged the range time. I was like, uh, Okay. Well, and it's after Friday now, and you're still alive, so that couldn't have been a reason. Yeah, so uh, I was like, yeah, uh, well, if she wanted to get rid of me, she could have done it a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. But so uh, I took her out, and she's got the uh, the, the Sky uh, CPX-3. It's a 380 model. Oh, how'd she like it? She loved it. Wow. She loved it. She said, that's the most comfortable handgun I've ever shot. I am actually surprised because I, if I remember correctly, the 380 model snapped, felt no. more snappy than the nine millimeter. No, it was you're the remembering the opposite. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The nine, the, 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 the CPX one is more snappy than the, the 380. That's why I gave it to your mom. Okay. Um, and uh, she's, uh, she, it was interesting because, you know, she's, your mom is different than our vision is the opposite. I'm I have I'm nearsighted. I don't need glasses to see to read. I don't need glasses to see stuff. But if I want to see clearly the the stuff that's across the street, I now need the my glasses gone. on. Yeah, but she's the opposite. You see, she can see stuff far away clearly, but stuff that's close, she has to have reading glasses. And that's some, that's an issue for uh, people. And and it was actually a really good experience for me because now I'm able. I was able to to coach her through it. She's like, "Well, I can't see, I can't folk, I can't see the target and try and find the front sight at the same time." She's like, I can't do that. She's like, "I can either see where I can either know where the target is." She goes, "Because if I try and because she was in a situation where if she focused on the front sight of the gun, the target was a blur to the point where she couldn't, she didn't like, she could not perceive it." Yeah. Right. Oh, uh, and he's like, wow. Did you get her an EOTech? No, I, I well, I, on that? no, on the handgun. Yeah, I, I put an EOTech on the pistol. <laughs> I actually handed her my Glock with the red dot and she, she took like five minutes. She's like, I can't find this red dot. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, and then eventually she found Turns it. Out, then she turned it on. And yeah, eventually, no, she found it and, and she was able to hit the target. And she's like, no, that'll take me forever. And I said, yeah, yeah it takes a little. Won't. A lot of practice you, you, to if you're going to switch we're all over the place here like a shotgun but if you're going to switch from iron sights to a red dot you need to it's not oh i'm just going to put the red dot on and i'll never need to practice again 
Well, wrong. What you just did is you actually helped the audience understand the process that you go through to help people solve problems that they have. Yeah. So it's like you, if this doesn't work, go to this. If that doesn't work, then try step three. And yeah. And eventually, you know, you follow these things. And I don't know, is that a section in the first edition of the instructor manual? I can't remember. Yeah. Which yeah. I didn't. I don't remember reading about it. Learning like how yeah. processes of learning. Yes. And, okay. Okay. And training cues. I get, I learn better. And I think you're the same way. I learn better if I have like, if I can put my hands on it and what I do oh, yeah. that and in reading is if I I'm have a, a real I'm life a kinesthetic example, learner. Yeah. Yeah. If I have a, a real life example to draw the reading back to like, this is a perfect real life example. You took mom to the range. She had a problem. You fixed it with step a blah, blah, blah. Yeah. That's, that's how my brain works. So there are guns for you guys to get uh, ammunition. I'm going to tell you this. If, if you plan to practice, train, work with your gun, you need to start thinking in thousand round increments. Now, right now, as I'm speaking the words into this microphone, you can get nine mil training ammo for about 31 cents a shot. That's not a good price. It's not. It's a crappy I price. I don't it think it's going to be better, though. But it's not getting better. It's as good if, as it's going If get. you're out there thinking, well, I, I'm I'm with you, and I know I need some nine training, but I'm going to wait till it's back down to twenty cents a shot. It ain't going to happen, brother. Not with what's going on on planet Earth right now. It's not going to happen. So, and I can tell you this: the clo and what did I tell you guys? I told you in 2020. I said the closer it gets to the election, the worse it's going to get. The same exact thing's going to happen this year. So. If, if you're in your ammo locker and you're like, oh, man, I'm getting kind of low. I can see the bottom of the can. You better get it now. I'm not don't use credit cards and don't mortgage your house, but it's not going to be more prevalent and it's not going to be less expensive as the future goes on. Training ammo, you need to think in increments of a thousand. Practice ammo or I mean, a killer ammo, you know, you're fighting ammo or whatever. Uh you need to be thinking in increments of hundreds, you know, hundred rounds of hydroshock or whatever. Uh, you need to have a minimum, an absolute minimum of three good magazines for a handgun and six for a rifle. Six? Yeah, six. I said six. Uh, the good news is, is some of the stuff is all caught up now, like mags. They, they produce so many magazines that uh, they're basically giving them away. Uh, well, they're not giving them away, but they're super cheap. Uh, AR mags right now are super cheap, and the good ones. You can get the, the Brownells mil-spec oh, ones. Wow, you yeah. can get the Magpul ones. Uh, magazines ten, ten bucks. Are, are good prices now. Those are, yeah, I said those are back down to normal, and if you get 10 of them, yeah, wow, that's, that's yeah. great. So there's no excuse not to have a half a dozen good new magazines for your rifle. Oh, uh, accessories. Uh, accessories is kind of like, you know, optics or whatever. Uh, they're the good news about accessories is they're not really crazy because when people panic by, they panic by guns and they panic by ammo. People generally don't panic by red dots. Uh, they don't panic by holsters. Um, so you, you're, you're kind of good in that regard. But I'm telling you, that as these as these communists, as these these uh, pieces of human excrement that are in Washington D.C., these criminals, uh, as they push forward, and they're, you know, we talked about this. When did we talk? Oh, I talked about it with uh, with Mark on Friday. You know, the the when a Democrat says, "How many children have to die for you to accept reasonable gun control?" That's not a rhetorical question. Their, th their, their question is, how many of your children do we have to massacre for you to allow us to disarm you? That's disgusting. That is, that is the real, that is the reality of the world in which we're living right now. Okay. And if it makes you uncomfortable, good. It should make you uncomfortable. It's not a rhetorical question. When a Democrat says, how many kids have to die before you'll surrender your guns? They're looking for a number. 
And as things get get closer, I, when, when I was on the radio with Mark uh, on Friday, he said he'd ha- he'd talked to all of his sponsors and, you know, he has gun and ma- ammo sponsors and so forth. And he said, they're all, they're all seeing it. Dealers are contacting him. They're like, hey, how many of these can we get now? Jeez. Yeah. The dealers. So, yeah. Man, it's a great time to be a manufacturer. It's a crappy time. To well, be a it's. It, yeah, but the thing is, the manufacturers they're getting they're getting hammered. Yeah, it's it's, and, it, it, and it's interesting like, all around the board. Yeah, so the manufacturers like, dude, calm down. We can only do this so fast. And the, yeah, know. but the the manufacturer doesn't have to deal with the end customer. Yeah, they that that is the good the, news. They, they don't have yeah. to deal with the end user. <laughs> oh man, oh man. So. Yep, that's 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 the world in which we live right now, guys. So I'm I'm telling you, before the before the Democrats push the normies uh, into panic mode, and I don't want to hear some crap about oh, hoarders, oh, hoarders. Everybody in this audience has had a chance all summer long, all year long. Uh, you know, if you don't have what you need, it's your own fault. It's your own fault. All right, I'm going to be quiet now, and uh, I'm going to let Zach talk for a second. ShopSOTG.com is the perfect place to go if you are a student of the gun. Whether you want to expand your brain, increase your marksmanship, or help keep your family safe. All that, plus the pimp hand brands that you love. ShopSOTG.com has almost anything that an American patriot would want. Education, enlightenment, and entertainment, and we're open 24-7. Check out shopsotg.com today and see for yourself. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We got shopsotg.com. Jared, check Discord real quick before I finish what I'm saying. <laughs> you can head over there. You can head over there and check out all the great stuff we got going. Uh, uh, you, yeah, you can mention that if you want, if you're okay. going to have it ready by the time the show drops to the podcast audience. Yes, I will make sure that the, sh- the this thing I'm about to mention is ready by the time this goes public. So if you're listening <laughs> it's live, actually, it's, check it's it actually on Wednesday. preferable to mention it because then it forces us to get it done. Exactly. That's so, right. So uh, Professor Paul, my dad, was just talking about how coffee is going up and getting more expensive and all that good stuff. So now's a good time to mention that we have our own special Pimp Hand Blend of Coffee coming soon to Shop SOTG. Is that not called the Pimp Hand Blend? What's it called again? No, I, I wasn't aware of this. You're not? No. I thought you were the incubator of this whole situation. No, I'm not. So, but Surprise! Uh, it is called the Pimp Hand Blend, right, Jared? Yes. Yeah. Pimp Hand Blend coming to ShopSOTG.com. Uh, by the time you're listening to this, we will have it up uh, on wait, pre-order. Go hold ahead. On, hold on a second. I'm holding on. It might, it might not be called the Pimp Hand Blend. Let me... Let me what? go back and check our little conversation. I guess Z- yeah, I say, Zach, you have the pictures of the label. Let me go hmm. double check this conversation. Guys, keep talking yeah. so we don't have dead air. I was wondering where that was. We, actually, what I thought Zach was going to talk about was the coffee mugs. We do have coffee mugs as well. We have the you brand can launch new. those together. Look at that. Perfect. It's the there you go. Uh, yeah. Launch. Forcing more work on yourself. Yeah. No. That's so awesome. If you listen to the show last week. I don't. I can't remember whether it was a bonus hour or whether it was public. I said we needed an adult version AAFU cup, and so I put Zach on that. I put him on mm-hmm. on the the trail uh, or on the on the process, and I said you need to come up with an adult version of the AAFU. Uh, and he said that he did, and I saw the proof of it. And I don't see it on the store. <clears throat> is there a reason that I don't see it on the store, Zach? Am I uh, not looking in the right? It might just not. Ugh. It should be there, Mm-mm. but let me double check right now. Yeah, uh, but no, it is called the Pimp Hand Arabica. Arabica blend. Arabica. 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 What the heck? I said Arabica. Just- he, he was trying to roll his R. Arabica. Arabica. Hey, he's dating a Spanish woman, okay? Arabica. So, yeah. Under, I'm, I'm going to the new products page and uh, I see the dad rules coffee cup, which you guys should have already ordered for your dad for Father's Day. Yeah. You can still order one. I don't know if it's going to be there on time, but you could do it. It could be a late surprise Father's Day gift. But uh, yeah, well, under you new still pro- have two weeks, right? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, yep. yep. Two weeks. Half. I guess from, from if you're listening live, you have two weeks. Yeah. Uh, if you're listening in, in the future, then no. But uh, yeah, so. 
when you as you're listening to this on Wednesday, if you're listening to it on Wednesday, uh, Zach is going to have the brand new AAFU coffee mug uh, is going to be available for purchase, and it's going to be in the new products section because you want that. You know you want it. It is in the new product section. It is. It's right at the top. Mm. All right. Actually, it's not on my screen. Uh, so try know. refreshing your page. <laughs> hey, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh, that's that's really uh, that's really an interesting uh, that's interesting uh, interesting foam latte that you did there. <laughs> Honestly, I was just gonna do the the plain coffee mug, but I was like, well, the logo's red, white, and blue. The stuff's red, white, and blue. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a good Photoshop and job you did there. I am the so, best, I guess. That's right. That's right. So if you want to uh, let people know, well, why do you think you need to have an AR-15? Uh, well, we can tell you. We can tell you. There you go. Because fornicate yourself. That's why. Because F apostrophe apostrophe apostrophe. That's why. That's uh, right. You, rather. Yeah. That's why. That's right. So, ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages, that's what's going on with all of our cool new brand stuff. So, let's go ahead and get into the uh, uh, Student of the Gun Homeroom, brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters. Yes, indeed. Let's get into that. Let's do it. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, Dad Rules books will be on sale for Father's Day at the time that this goes up as well. Good. So get your dad a coffee mug, pre-order some coffee that won't be there in time, but you can give him an IOU, and then also get <laughs> him a book. A three, it's a perfect three-piece combo. It's like the $5 That is fill perfect. Up. Yeah, the $5, the, the $5 fill-up, that's pretty cool. That's actually a good idea because then you could sit down, you could brew this awesome coffee, you could put it in the nice mug that you got and you can read the book there you go uh speaking of official father's day uh, philip there you go uh, stuff all right that's uh, a collection did you did you smoke all the the cigars i have one left uh um, have one left yep okay. i have one left and it is the san andreas it's the bee's knees yeah okay so what i'm going to tell you Jared, is you, you've got your, my, my send choice. Me your, send me your rankings from one to oh. four. Oh, okay. Oh, Which okay. order you would put them in. Okay. There we go. And I will pass that on. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and talk about being dangerous on demand. Student at student of the gun uh, homeroom by Crossbreed. If you go to uh, follow the link, student of the gun.com slash crossbreed, use the promotional code S O T G. You save money on a high quality holster, belt, uh, chest rig, whatever you want to buy. Uh, really, do me a favor, click that link and tell me if you get a 404 error. Uh, no, I, I it's fine. Okay, it's I got working. a 404 error. What the it's, heck? It's working, it's fine. Okay, so uh, Jared's going to read this story and we're going to talk about the importance of being dangerous on demand. Cougar. Nine-year-old girl survives brutal cougar attack in Washington State. Am I on the right article? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A cougar attacked a nine-year-old girl on the morning of Saturday, May 28th. Lily Krasinevsky was playing outside at a camp near Fruitland, Washington, with two friends when the cougar attacked. Uh, it's, what, what time of day was this? Uh, Saturday. I don't know. wonder what time. Uh, Krasinevsky tried to defend herself while her friends ran to get adults to help. Man, this is sad. The adults rushed to help the girl and found her covered in blood. She was quickly airlifted to a hospital to receive treatment. According to a GoFundMe set up by the victim's family to help cover medical expenses, Krasinevsky, they're just going to throw this name in there 15 times for me to read, underwent several hours. Does she have surgery. a first name? Uh, Lily. I'll call her Lily. Call her Lily. Yeah, there you go. She underwent several hours of surgery for injuries to her upper body and face and went into a coma following the attack. On May 30th, Alex, the organizer of the fundraiser, posted an update about Lily's condition. It says Lily is still in the ICU, but out of the coma, which is great. She is fully aware of what happened to her, can speak clearly, think clearly, and move her arms and legs. She talks to her mom and dad, but still has lots of recovering ahead. It's great news. 
Immediately following the attack, someone at the camp shot and killed a cougar, which Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife officials identified as a young male. The WDFW is currently investigating the incident, hoping to glean more insights about the rare attack. In the last hundred years in Washington state, we've only had two fatal cougar attacks. Well, what about the ones that weren't? Fatal? Yeah, I was going to say, notice they had, they said fatal. Oh, oh, here we go. And prior to this incident, there were 19 injury causing attacks. So 19 mm. injury in a hundred years, that's actually super rare, but it still happens. Well, you see, and what Stacey I want to know is how many weren't reported or, you know, it's, it's kind of a weird thing, but go on. Yeah. Stacey Lehman, communications manager for WDFW, told, oh, that's what she told them. She says, my understanding is that the attack was so fast, there's nothing that Lily could have done. We're preparing the cougar carcass to be tested for diseases to see if it was still sick, ill, starving, or anything like that to help determine what would spur an attack. Well, because it was the humans. Because it's a predator. Its, yeah, the humans were in its area. It's a predator. Um, Layman notes that cougars, well, humans are predators too, though. We should be the top of the food chain. We are. Um, Layman notes that cougars, which are also known as mountain lions. Or pumas. Or puma. Uh, or typically puma. steer clear of humans. Um, okay. Still, the big cats, which roam much of the U.S., can be deadly if they do become aggressive. Has nobody ever seen the 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 the, the, the YouTube video of the of the Mountain lion chasing the guy down the the, the yes. hiking trail. Yeah, that and he did everything right, I guess. Yeah, he's like, get away, stop, stop, for, get away. Except for yeah. shooting it. Except for um, yeah. The so the, the, this is there. It says that the WDFW maintains a web page that provides important tips for surviving a cougar encounters. Step one: remove their clothes. No, I'm just kidding. If you cross paths with a big cat, the agency says that you should face the cougar. Talk to it firmly while slowly backing away. Do not take your eyes off the cougar or turn back. If the cougar attacks, fight back. Talk to it and try, firmly. Yeah. Be be aggressive and try to stay on your feet. That actually, it makes sense because if you mm. turn turn away, then they know that you Oh, yeah. That's a sign of submission. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're going to attack you for sure. Yeah. Because that's, that's, that's how it works in the wild. It sees the deer. The deer well, starts to run. They attack actually, it. It, it's how it works in for humans too. That's how it works. You just for, let yeah. a bully be for a bully. Predators. Yeah, it's going to be. If a you bully. turn your back on them, they're going to. You you read on killing right? Yes. By Grossman. Yes. Yeah. That you when when you when you put your when Wait, you look at on. the there ground. Were two books. I don't know if on, I did on combat and on killing. On yeah, killing on was first the one that I read. Yeah. So yeah, the, what Grossman pointed it out. He goes, as as a human, if if you avert your eyes, look at the ground, and turn your back to a predator, there's nothing to stop them from killing you. Quick aside, I believe that the uh, we had. I know we had Colonel, or I mean, uh, Grossman on our show. Yeah, yeah, Grossman on our show, and I believe that it's in the celebrity interview section of the grad program. So if you're not a grad program member and you want to hear that show, yeah. go to getsotg.com. Well, the reason I put this in the uh, obviously the dangerous on demand is because it was it it's good that somebody was there and, and they were able to kill this thing. Uh, seconds can mean the difference between like life and death. Uh, and if you have to search for a gun, run for a gun, you know, if you're if you're looking for objects, sticks, whatever, you know, you're like throw sticks at it. No. Oh, uh, when, when it comes to an animal attack. Think about you know, a, a five second animal attack, the damage versus a 10 second attack versus a 30 second attack versus a one minute attack, a one minute attack. Such a long time by an animal is is probably going to kill you. Uh, speaking if, from if experience a, of being in a cage with a human being for the human animal for yeah. multiple minutes, uh, a minute is a very, very long time. Yeah, a, a, a minute. A lot you know how many damage. times you can get bit? By yeah. A, by a dog, it, how, how many times a dog can bite you in one minute? Um, it, it's crazy. You have to be ready. It's it's your responsibility. Uh, James, what does James always say? Your your responsibility to be ready for the fight never, never ends. ends. Never ends. So it has begun, but it never ends. Yeah, it has begun. It never ends. So if you're an adult, you're like, what's a nine-year-old supposed to do? Well, a nine-year-old is supposed to do anything, but you as an adult are supposed to be there to protect the children. Yeah. Um, and you know, it, it's, this sucks that this happened. 
Uh, but it, it's good well, that, that the, that nine-year-old was just had an AK. Was, that's right there. Yeah, but uh, you got to be ready. You got to be prepared for it. And being unarmed is not the solution. Being unarmed is not the solution. But um, according to the evil Democrats, the, the, the worshipers of Satan, uh, it looks like the worshipers of Satan, looks like Democrats attacked a church uh, in Nigeria. I put this in here because I wanted to use this as an example of what happens when the good people are unarmed, but the bad people decide that, mm, no, we're, we're just going to go ahead and not give our guns up. How's that sound? Nigeria. This is from the theguardian.co.uk.mouse. No, it's just theguardian.com overseas. Gunman kills, does gunmen, that's M-E-N, kill dozens in satanic attack or Democrat attack on Catholic church. Go At ahead. 50 Jared. people killed and 50 people, five, zero, At least 50 people Dead. killed and dozens more injured in an assault during Sunday mass in Ondo state. Gunmen launched an assault in the Catholic church in Ondo state, Nigeria during mass on Sunday, killing more than 50 people in a satanic attack. The attackers targeted St. Francis Xavier Catholic church in the town of Owo as the worshipers gathered uh, on Pentecost Sunday, according to local officials, they gunned down parishioners and detonated an explosive device. Local media reported. Jeez. Now I got a question for you guys in America. Uh, how many of your local news outlets covered this? I also, it's also interesting how the title that it says that they detonated a, an explosive device and in the title, they chose to put gunmen uh, <sighs> and not bombers or something. It says doctor, local officials and volunteers helping the injured said the death toll was at least 50 with dozens being treated for injuries in overwhelmed local hospitals. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name because I will butcher it. And I apologize for that. State legislator said children were among the dead. The videos appeared to be from the scene of the attack showed church worshipers lying in pools of blood while people around them wailed. Jeez. The governor of Ondo State, also not going to try to pronounce that name, condemned the violent satanic attack on Sunday and pledged to find an assailant, the assailants. Uh, Reverend Augustine Ikwu, a secretary of the Catholic Church in Ondo, said a statement. Yeah, Jared, they, they gunned down parishioners and detonated an explosive device. This wasn't just a bomb. I, I know, but okay. I just it's just interesting. I, I wonder which one killed more people. Um, bomber gun mm. but the gun stuff is the hot topic of the the country right now uh so he said in entertainment that the attack had left the community devastated we turned to god to console the families for of those whose lives were lost the bishop and priests from the parish had survived the attack unharmed nigeria's president uh, Muhammad Bahari, whose government has been widely condemned for overseeing a sharp rise in insecurity across the country, also condemned the attack. No matter what, this country shall never give in to evil and wicked people and darkness will never overcome light. The identity and motive of the attackers was not immediately clear. The doctor at a hospital in the southwestern town of Owo told Reuters at least 50 bodies had been moved to the main government hospital in Owo and to the St. Louis Catholic Hospital. Um, Sunday, Ajibala, a volunteer at one of the town's hospitals, said he saw nothing less than 50 dead bodies and several others with injuries from bullets and explosives being treated like me treated by medics. Local hospitals were making urgent appeals for blood. The Vatican said Pope Francis was praying for the victims who had been painfully stricken in a moment of celebration. So we're not going to, we're not going to spend much more time on this, but uh, my question to you guys, uh, an honest horrifying. question uh, that I have for you guys in my audience was, uh, are we the first ones to, to bring this up to you? Uh, did you see this anywhere else? Was this covered on MSNBC, CNN? Was it, uh, because I'm guessing not. I'm a bad example, but this is the first time I've seen this. Yeah. So is this the first time anybody out there has seen this? Uh, and, and if so, why? 
And if so, why does CNN not care? Why does NBC not care? Why do they not care? Well, because it's, it's black on black and it's in Africa and the good people were all in the church unarmed and then bad people with guns came in and killed them. And, and if they would only have more gun control in Nigeria, then this wouldn't happen. You know, that's, that's what you need to stop this is more gun control. Yeah, it's actually the NRA's fault. If the NRA would just be willing to accept reasonable restrictions, then then terrorists and satanic evil Democrats wouldn't go into churches and murder people. Really? Really? Now, my question to you is, uh, if you are going to a church and you have a church community, uh, do you have a church security team? Are you already set up for a Legion of Michael church security team? And if not, what do I say to them, Jared? Do I ask them what they're waiting for? Do I, do I ask the people, like, what, for what are you waiting? Generally, what happens is it takes somebody that is in a leadership position to uh, either come up with the idea or have somebody present them with an idea. Well, if you, we have a solution for both of those people. If you are a leader, then you can go to legionofmichael.com, join that section there. Um, there's uh, some information on the page that you can consume and decide if it's right for you. Uh, and then we've got the course that helps you build a plan. And if you're the person presenting, it's even better for you because you can actually build the plan, have it printed out, take it to your church leaders and say, hey, I think that we should do this, assuming that you've already built a relationship with them. Can't be your first meeting and say, here, do this. They're like, uh, who are you? But um, then you have- Who are you and how'd you get in my church? Uh, yeah, it's like, what, what, what are you doing here? Um, but you'll have an actual plan to present and um, and then it can be, you know, I don't know what your process at your local church is, but it can be discussed and hopefully implemented. And implemented sooner versus later. Sooner yeah. versus later. It's like the rare attack, the rare cougar attacks or the rare bear attacks. It's it's rare, but it still happens, man. Yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna like wait for and, it to happen and, yeah, and, and do something. What about is it? the downside of of being trained and prepared to deal with that thing? If it never happens, then that's great. You didn't have to use your skills, but when it does happen and you don't have the skills or the tools that you need, then that sucks. I don't know, man. So uh, what's the next? Well, what's the next story? Uh, this is Zach. There's a video attached to this and I put it in there, a link for you. Uh, it says Dem Congressman warns America. We will stop at nothing until we confiscate your guns. Yep. And I'm not even going to read the story. I'm just going to let Zach play the video because the, you just need to listen to what this dude is saying. So listen to their words. Don't listen to me. You're like, ah, Paul's always exaggerating. Okay, cool. This is represent representative Mondaire Jones, Democrat, New York 17th. Mondaire. District. Yeah. So yeah. Listen to what he's got to say. Do 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 officer, but to a girl scout murder trying to call for help to the parents who mourn and the children who fear all you have to offer are more guns and apparently the ridiculous idea of fewer school doors my generation and the generations who have followed know that this epidemic of gun violence is not unstoppable it is a choice a choice you could make differently at any time a choice between our lives and your guns, time after time, we have given you a chance to do something. After Columbine, after Sandy Hook, after Parkland, and time after time, you have chosen to put your right to kill over our right to live. Mm. But your selfishness and your indifference have not killed our hope. You have transformed it. Before, mm. we believed that you might do what the people overwhelmingly support and help advance common sense gun violence legislation. Now we know that it is up to us to save ourselves from you. We did not choose this fight. We had our own dreams for our lives, the same as you did when you were kids, but we can't let you get away with this anymore. Enough is enough. Enough of you telling us that school shootings are a fact of life when every other country like ours has virtually... No one ever said that. Enough of you blaming mental illness and then defunding mental health care in this country. Enough Who's defunding mental health and care? Prayers. Enough. Enough. You will not stop us from advancing the Protecting Our Kids Act today. 
You will not stop us from passing it in the House next week, and you will not stop us there. Mm -hmm. If the filibuster obstructs us, we will abolish it. If the Supreme Court objects, we will expand it, and we will not rest until we have taken weapons of war out of circulation in our communities. Each and every day, we will do whatever it takes to end gun violence, whatever it takes. What we mm. will do is not fail the children of this country the way that you have failed. All right, you, go ahead. I can't take any more of this. I, I can't take any more of this. I'm, I can't take any more of this. All right, number one, you hear how this guy's speaking? If the filibuster, if you try and stop us, the filibuster will abolish it. If the Supreme Court doesn't allow us to enact this unconstitutional legislation, then we'll expand it. What? Real quick, did you notice what the last thing that popped up on the little bottom of the, of the screen was? No. Regulate ghost guns. Regulate oh, ghost yeah, and, guns. And it said require safe gun storage. Yeah. Um, but I just I thought you'd get a kick out of so, the because, ghost guns being brought up. Of course, of course it did. And one of their big things is is we need to we need first of all, oh, all right. Whew, whew. Let's go ahead and talk about hypocrisy, shall we? So this Democrat scumbag Satanist uh, wants to he wants a law that requires 21, 21, right? 21 years to purchase any firearm, rifle, shotgun, pistol, right? Okay, first of all, the federal government doesn't have that authority. They're not granted that by the Constitution. But that aside, let's go ahead and have a hypocrisy reality check. So a person who is under the age of 21 is not mentally mature enough to own a gun. That's what you're saying. Yes, that's what I'm saying. We've been trying to say that for years, but they can vote for the president. Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, every four years or so, they kick around the idea of dropping the voting age to 16. It's crazy. So they're not mentally mature enough to possess a firearm, but they're mentally mature enough to decide who is going to tax them to death. And they're all, and they're also mentally mature enough to decide their gender identity and get That's right. body altering surgeries. A According to the same Satanist Democrats, a child of elementary school age is mentally mature enough to decide that even though they were born with a penis, they are now a woman and that they want experimental gender reassignment therapy. Really? It's ladies and gentlemen, we need to have an all it's it needs to be all or nothing. If you and here's the thing, I'll go down that road with you. I will. I'll go down that road with you. You want 21, 21 years old for any fire purchase, 22 Ruger 10, 22 rifle. Got to be 21. OK, cool. Then you need to be 21 to be considered an adult. You need to be 21 to be considered a citizen and have the right to vote. You need to be 21 to enter the United States military because there's a contract involved, right? So right now, an 18-year-old can sign a four-year contract to enter the Navy, Air Force, Marines, Army, whatever, right? They're considered, they don't need parental consent. An 18-year-old can walk into a recruiter's office, sign a contract that obligates them for four years of service. I mean, No parental whole, consent. This whole conversation has been stupid ever since the drinking age got up to 21 because like you're old enough to go die in a foreign country you're not old enough to drink a beer well yeah you can sign to okay an 18 or a 19 year old can sign a student loan agreement indebting themselves for a hundred to a hundred two hundred thousand dollars of debt right because they're adults you and this is what i would say to uh, Kwame and Fume here, whatever his name is, this scumbag piece of crap. And number one, you're like, okay, government, you're in the government. You could start today. You know, the people in government, if the AR-15, and according to Sniffy Joe, the nine millimeter handgun is the most powerful, deadly killing machine uh, on the streets today. I, they can't figure out. I, don't, I can't 
figure out what the thought process is there. We go from the AR-15 is a weapon of war killing machine, blah, 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 to Sniffy Joe being programmed to go out and, and rail against nine millimeter handguns. Okay, all of those things, the 556 five, black rifles, the nine millimeter handguns, they're all carried by mem- by employees of the state. Well, that's fine. No, it's not. It's not fine. I know. Is it's it fine. the gun or is it the people? If it's the gun, then why do police officers and why does Capitol Hill, why do the Capitol Hill police have nine millimeter pistols? Why do the Capitol Hill police have black rifles? See, what they could do right now, if they really believed what they were saying, is that they could take away all of those evil killing machines from their employees. But you see, they won't. Because their lives... See, we can... The people in Congress try and get into Congress unauthorized. Try and just walk into the House of Representatives unapproved, uninvited, and see what happens to you. You're like, what do you mean? Uh, yeah, just go there and and get out of your car, walk up the steps and go inside and walk onto the, the floor of Congress uninvited. And you, this one you say, you can't. Why can't you? Well, because there's there's people with guns that'll stop you from going in there. There are? There are people with guns that will stop you from just walking onto the floor of Congress or the Senate. You can't just walk into the building. Why not? Because there are people with guns there and they'll stop you. What if I try and force my way into the House of Representatives? Well, then people with guns will shoot you. Oh, so Kwame and Fume, Mr. Monier here, it's he can be protected by men with guns. That's okay. But the idea of protecting our children with by men and women with guns is insane. It's crazy. It's you clinging to your right to kill. That doesn't make sense. <clears throat> we don't have a right to kill. No one has a right to kill. We have a right to life. You see, let's go back to the uh, Declaration of Independence. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We find these rights to be inalienable. You see, I have the right to use whatever tool I need to use to save my own life and to preserve my liberty. (gasps) You see, the reason that we have firearms is to preserve not just our lives, but our liberty. And if... uh, Moyer here, Mr. Moyer says, we're just going to do whatever. If if you try and use the filibuster, we'll abolish it. If you try and, and if, if the Supreme Court won't agree with us, then we'll pack the court. We'll vote to expand it and we'll fill it with Democrats. What he just said was, the Constitution be damned because you see the Constitution gives them no authority to do any of this. So they're just going to ignore the Constitution. But ladies and gentlemen, this is what you need to understand. Without the Constitution, they have no authority. The United States Constitution. uh, I don't have mine right here next to me. I moved it. Uh, The United States Constitution created the office of the president. The United States Constitution created the Senate. It created the House of Representatives. If you violate it, if you ignore it, if you pretend that the Constitution doesn't exist, you have no authority. None. Let's move on. Uh, Let's move on to this next one. So uh, these these scumbags, this scumbag from Rhode Island, this uh, 
Cecilian, you're going to have to deal this because he swears. But I, I want you to, to listen to this. So it's another Democrat. And uh, this is yet another example of why uh, these people are exceedingly dangerous. They believe that now that they're in power, that they're above the law. The law doesn't, it doesn't apply to them. They don't, feelings are more important than the law. And they're going to, they're going to use, they're going to use scare tactics. They're going to use fear mongering. They're going to send their minions out to murder your children until you surrender. And what's really sick about this, you guys see the picture of this guy, how he has a slave behind him with a mask on. What's the point in that? Well, because those are the lower people and they have to be kept in their place. Zach, Zach, do you have the video? Yep, I have the video ready. And uh, everybody, just if you have kids in the room, earmuffs, because this, <laughs> this whole thing is basically just the first word. All right, and go. Imminent danger to themselves and others, such that they might commit mass murder, have a constitutional right to access a firearm, and to deny them that right would quote, trample on an individual's due process and Second Amendment rights. You know who didn't have due process? You know who didn't have their constitutional right to life respected? The kids at Parkland and Sandy Hook and Uvalde and Buffalo and the list goes on and on. <clears throat> so spare me the bull about well, constitutional rights. Well, the gentleman not be, No, I will not yield. And I'm not going to yield for my entire five minutes, so don't ask again. <laughs> So, first of all, <laughs> these risk protection for orders- All right. First of all, you know why uh, they used to have fist fights on the floor of the house? Because of stuff like this. Stuff like that, yeah. Because stuff like this. So, um, that's a heated debates, man. So, David Cicilline uh, believes that your constitutional rights are bullshit. So, that's what he said. Somebody needs to remind him that without the Constitution, he has no authority. None. Zero. Nada. You don't get to decide. And all of these scumbags had to, when they were, they had to be sworn in as representatives and senators and so forth. They had to be sworn in and they had to swear to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States of America, which includes the Bill of Rights. They're they're all oath breakers. Both of these guys have violated their oath of office and they need to be removed. They need to be removed from the House because they just openly violated their oath of office. So what they said is, yeah, I said all that. I said, you know, swear to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States of America, but I didn't really mean it. The arrogance and the hubris of these scumbags to believe that now that they they won a popularity contest in their district, so now they get to just brush aside the parts of the Constitution that they don't like. And which one of these guys is going to bring up the black woman who killed the black man with who had an AR-15 and was about to shoot up a high school graduation party. But she drew her handgun and stopped him. She stopped a mass murder. A what? We talked about this last week. Where, where are these guys on that? Where, where's uh, Mr. Monier and Mr. Sicilian here? Where are they on that? They think that's a good thing or they think it's a bad thing? I wonder if she used a nine millimeter and she blew his lungs out. We're going to talk about that later this week. Oh, that's coming up. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you need to understand. Democrats are evil. They will burn the Constitution in order to disarm you. But before we go any farther, I want you to marinate on this. My entire adult life, my entire life. Democrats have always known that you that gun control is a losing issue. All right. More Americans own firearms in the United States today than at any time in the history of the United States. It's a fact. 
So if gun ownership is at an all time high and you know this, they know it. And we're going into a really serious election cycle because the Democrats could lose the House and the Senate in 2022 if they don't cheat. So if we if we stop them from cheating and lying and stealing the election, if we stop them, they'll lose the House, they'll lose the Senate. They know that. They also know that historically, gun control is a losing issue going into an election. You wait until after the election to push gun control. That's what you do. That's what they did in 94 and so on and so forth. You wait till after when it's a fait accompli. People can't stop it. So what you need to ask yourself is knowing all of this and, you know, they're evil, but they're they're very calculating. These people are evil, but they're calculating. So how is it that they believe at this point in time that they can go into and, and it, for them, for the status, for the communists, uh, for the people who believe it's their job to rule over you? Why would they risk the upcoming election unless one of two things, either they're desperate to get this passed or they already know that they've got the plan in place. They've got the 2000 mules in place to steal the, the election. They, they figured out which, which districts are important. They figured out where they need to send their minions out. They figured out already how many uh, mail-in ballots they need to print and they've already done it. This is reality. If you don't believe me, you're like, I don't believe it. I mean, they've always leaned into gun control before every election, every. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. You need to ask yourself, what's different? What changed? Why do they feel emboldened to destroy the Constitution and wipe their butts with it? What's different? What's changed? And do they trying to push us into a civil war? Because. I know half of the country is not going to surrender. Not going to happen. They can pass a law tomorrow. Well, we pass a law. We decide you're no longer allowed to have an AR and you have to go down to the sheriff and give it to him. Not happening, Jack. I have a question. If everybody did that, who would process all of that? Well, I mean, they did it in Australia. They, they, they created mountains of guns and ran them over with steamrollers and stuff. Um, then they lock their people up in camps. Uh, it's not going to happen. And is is uh, Miss Democrat from New York, uh, Representative Julius Molye or whatever the F his name is, and is Mr. Uh, Sicilian, are they going to come to my house? Are they going to be the front of the stack to come to my house and seize my guns from me? No! No, they're going to they're gonna order their minions with black rifles and nine millimeter handguns to go take away the guns from the people they don't think should have them. No, I think it might be a 30 super actually. Yeah. Thanks for asking. All right. Tomorrow, Thursday bonus hour. Number one, uh, beating a dead horse and fluffy cows. We're going to talk about horses and cows tomorrow. Uh, You want to be here. Jared and Zach are going to tell you how you can be here for tomorrow. And I really think you should. Yes, indeed. You gotta, all you got to do is got to go to getsotg.com today. Go sign up. You will get a $1 trial to get in on the show for, uh, or rather, this weekend shows. And it'll be a good time. Jared, your turn. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Getsotg.com. There's a bunch of information there. The undergrad level is the level that you need to listen to the shows. If you just want to read stuff, you can do the new student level. It's a little bit less expensive. It comes with less stuff. Uh, The undergrad level, you actually, some people can actually make money by being an undergrad undergrad member because they use our promo codes that we have. That's right. Exclusive deals with people that you already buy stuff from. So you're welcome. Wow. There you go. Amazing. Amazing. Get SOTG.com. That's right. So cat in the hat and that be that, Buster Rhyme. Remember, you're a beginner once. You're a student for life. We appreciate your reviews. If you haven't left a review or updated yours recently, 
head on over to Facebook, iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, or your favorite podcast player to voice your opinion. Don't forget to join us at The Student Lounge, a place for like-minded individuals to learn, connect, and support each other. No chicanery will be tolerated. Remember to check studentofthegun.com daily for new, free content and giveaways. Watch, listen, read, shop, and connect at studentofthegun.com. Are you a social butterfly? Connect with us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for new content each and every day at Student of the Gun. Watch Student of the Gun TV and videos from our trusted partners on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Chromecast, and even AirPlay. Go to studentofthegun.com for direct links, and remember, you're a beginner once, a student for life.